Hi, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis, sport and exercise psychology expert, here with today's mental toughness moment. At the time of this video, which is January 2018, we have about a month until the Olympics start. And there are a lot of athletes who are doing their best to qualify for the Olympics. And I was reading an article today about a few uh, US athletes who didn't make the cut in 2014 and who are striving to make the team for 2018 and there is a specific skeleton athlete by the name of Annie O'Shea and she was talking about some of the changes she's made and some of the improvements she's made to her mindset and mental toughness in order to help her perform her optimal best and qualify for this year's Olympics and then perform great when she gets there and she in the article says, says that she's a self proclaimed control freak but she talked about how she had to learn to be okay with failing and fear of failure is a big fear, but often we have coaches telling athletes, and often I'm working with athletes, to help them really commit. Commit 100% to the performance. But it's hard to commit to the performance 100% when you are afraid of failing. So Annie is exactly right. You have to be okay with failing in order for you to be able to completely commit. So how do we become okay with failing? Well, a couple of, of things. One is we look at our failures. No one's ever in the, in the realm of sport has been ever perfect. So you look at your failures and then you ask yourself, what is the worst that happened? And even the worst that has happened, you're still okay. You're still here, you know, doing your best to perform again. So we have to be okay with failing and one of the ways to do that is to look at your past and realize that even when you fail, even though it sucks, don't get me wrong, it totally sucks, you're still okay. Then you have to, you have to be willing to take the risk, the risk of failing, in order to then commit to the task at hand. In other words, you have to want success more than you fear failure. You have to want success more than you feel fa failure. And when you start telling yourself and having these types of dialogues in your head so that you can learn to be okay with failure, then you can jump right into your performance. Your focus is totally on the present moment and not about failure. It is on the present moment. Your motivation is on success and not about motivating not to, because you don't want to fail. It's about motivated, motivation from wanting the success. Your self-confidence is heightened because now you're again focused on your present moment. That creates a mental toughness um, athlete. So again, Annie O'Shea, one of the things that she's had to learn over the past four years is to be okay with failing. Then, and only then, can you really commit to your current present performance with a complete mindset of optimal motivation, confidence, and concentration. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, leave them in the space provided. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.